Welcome to Edinburgh, Scotland's capital with lots of heart. It's home to half a million people and is small enough to see in a day, but big enough to truly explore in a weekend. Greeting you from Edinburgh Waverley train station is the Scott Monument, a towering spectacle in memory of the writer Sir Walter Scott. Its designer was George Kemp, who was self-taught, but he never saw its completion as he fell into a canal in 1844. Edinburgh Castle overlooks the gardens. It was this fort upon the rock that gave the city its name, as Dun Eden means fort on the hill. One of several statues in Edinburgh is of Wojtek the Bear, who astonishingly helped the Polish army in the Second World War. He eventually was made a corporal and spent his last days at Edinburgh Zoo. A stronghold has existed here since the 11th century. It stands upon part of a volcano which existed 350 million years ago. It is said to be one of the most besieged places in the world. In August it hosts the military tattoo performance and later in December on New Year's Eve is the backdrop to the Hogmanay. If you stick around the gardens at 1pm, you'll be treated to the firing of the one o'clock gun. Edinburgh's many streets are a sight to behold, with several churches and sandstone buildings. If the crowds get too much, weave into one of several of the city's courts and closes. Dunbar's Close, for example, leads to this garden. One of Edinburgh's many attractions is here at Greyfriars Church. According to legend, there was a terrier named Bobby, who for 14 years would be found at his owner's grave, until he too passed away in 1872. It is said that Mary Queen of Scots would sit in this summer house, or bathhouse, after wandering the garden. She was deemed a worthy enough threat to the English throne, so Queen Elizabeth had her imprisoned and she was beheaded in 1587. Next to the bathhouse is the Holyrood Palace one of the current king's many residencies, 
It is open to the public when he's not present, with tickets from £10 to £19.50. Another form of volcano fills the skyline. It's found within minutes of the Scottish Parliament, and stands at 823 feet. St Anthony's Chapel's ruins can be seen overlooking a man-made loch. Carlton Hill is another fantastic place to see the city. The National Monument of Scotland resembles the Parthenon of Athens. Well, that's it. Of course, you have to come and see this place for yourself, but I hope you've enjoyed this video of Edinburgh. Until next time, all the very best.